Good morning, Papa Nings. I'm Daryl Dodd, and this is Morning Talkback. So if you've got an issue, or you'd just like a chat, then give us a call. Papa Nings, a friendly little town on the eastern edge of the Western Australian wheat fields. As I like to say, if you're ever popping by, popping in, pop in and say a great big hello to Doddy. That's my catchphrase. <laughs> like I said, listeners, the list lines are now open. Here we go. G'day, Phil, and what would you like to talk about today, mate? Talk? What are you talking about? Uh, uh, isn't this the swap show? Oh, no, mate. That doesn't start for, for another hour, but, uh, well, given it's a bit quiet, why don't we start swapping now? So, what have you got to swap, Phil? Well, I've got a uh, bridesmaid's dress, purple taffeta with a red sash, uh, size 28. Uh, it's pretty good, Nick, apart from a small stain on the back. So, Phil, what would you like in exchange for this purple dress? Oh, uh, I don't know. Try a lot of manure. Really? Come, Phil, sure you wouldn't like some free laid chickens or some really quality mechanical work? Nah, just the manure. Oh, well, if, if you're in need of a purple taffeta dress size 28 and happen to have a spare trailer load of manure, why don't you give us a call? And we've got uh, Cheryl up on the phone. Well, before we start, Cheryl, why don't you tell us what part of... That's my ex-wife's name, by the way. Why don't you tell us what part of our wonderful shire of Kerballing you're from? Cheryl? What happened to the other guy? The other guy? Yeah. The one who used to host this show. He's gone to the city. Some big producer napped him up. That's my dream too, of course. I mean, my face may look old, but my voice is as young as ever, and I feel I'm ready to take the next step. And I mean, I send them demos all the time, but until that time, it's my job to bring the local community together. I love my job, and I, and I can feel that they're embracing me and returning the love. G'day, mate. Yeah, g'day. So I'm now your host, now Cheryl, Daryl Dodd. So, uh, what would you like to swap, Cheryl? Well, the same as Phil, except my bridesmaid dress is a, yeah, a couple of sizes bigger. Oh, okay. So, uh, what would you like to swap your dress for? Same. A trailer load of manure? Yeah. Well, listeners, if you've got a couple of trailer loads of manure and you're planning a voluptuous country wedding, this is your opportunity. So why not call up? Oh, we've got another caller on the line. And Nolene. Are you there, Nolene? Yep. Okay, please don't tell me you've got another bridesmaid's dress to offer for us. Nah, I got the wedding dress and 89 dream catches. A wedding dress and 89 dream catches? That's an awful lot of dreams to be handing over, and, and Nolene. They ain't mine. They were supposed to be me presents for the guests. Supposed to be? Me fiancé ran off with me cake decorator. Oh, that's terrible. My marriage broke up this year when we se well, my wife separated from me. I never quite worked out why. But anyway, like the kids had left home and I said to myself, Daryl, you've always dreamed about being a radio presenter and here I am. So keep your chin up, Cheryl. You never know what's a coming. It's Nolene. Nolene. Yes, yeah, sorry, Nolene. What happened to the other guy? So, uh, what would you like to exchange your 
wedding dress and those dream catches for uh, Nolan. And please don't tell me it's for a trailer load of manure. Yep. It is? Yep. Really? Yeah. This is real? Are they fucking with me? Jim, you prick. Okay, Nolene. Now, uh, what we got here? Well, we got a request for three trailer loads of excrement. Obviously, if you got one, the value of it's rising pretty fast. G'day, Clive. And well, do you happen to own a trailer load of manure? Yep. You do? Yep. Well, this is your lucky day. And what would you like in exchange? Perhaps the two purple and a taffeta wedding dresses, or...? Uh, the third one? Uh, the wedding dress and the dream catches. Yeah, I can't say I uh, know uh, a dream cat, what a dream catcher is, uh, but if the bride's willing to put that wedding dress uh, back on, uh, I'll swap it for her. Well, obviously, Clive, you must have some pretty special manure there, but will it be enough to win over Nolene's heart? But before we ask Nolene to call up again, why don't you tell us what this manure is? Is it chicken, cow, goat, alpaca, giraffe? Nah, it's me own. Your own? Taken me near over six months to fill it. Could have been quicker, but I keep the trailer in the garage. And I haven't always been able to unlock the door in time. Look, Clyde, um, why don't you stay on the line? Because I think Nolene's called in. Nolene? Yep. Did you hear that very romantic proposal? Yep. And what do you reckon? A match made in heaven, eh? Nolene? I'm thinking. Tell you what, Noles. If we don't work out, you can keep the manure. And the trailer? Nah. But you can borrow it. Yeah. Okay. Okay? You, you mean yes? Yep. Good stuff, Knowles. Dad? Dad? It's Dodd? Do us a favour and uh, call, call those other two back and uh, tell them to hang on to the bridesmaids' dresses. Uh, sure, but what if somebody rings up and offers another trailer load of manure? Well, for your sake. They better bloody not. <laughs> See you, Niles. Yeah. See you, Clive. Well, this is it's another hour before the show actually starts, but if you've got something of value you want to ring up and exchange for something else of value, well then ring up. Oh look, it's a, it's time for the news. One, two, 